The present video prepared by the Department of Veterinary Parastology, College of Veterinary Science, Guru Angad Dev Veterinary and Animal Sciences University, Ludhiana, aims to provide a detailed insight into the morphological identification of arthropods of animal health importance. The contents of this video correspond to the standard veterinary curriculum for students of veterinary science. Phylum Arthropoda It contains over 80% of all known animal species and has hard chitinous exoskeleton, segmented body and jointed limbs. It includes five classes that is Insecta, Arachnida, Crustacea, Myriapoda and Pentastomida. Class Crustacea It includes crayfishes, lobsters, crabs, shrimps. They are aquatic. The respiration is by gills and they have two pairs of antennae and numerous pairs of limbs on thorax and abdomen. Class Myriapoda it includes the millipedes and the centipedes. The millipedes have two pairs of limbs on each segment of body behind head. Centipedes have one pair of limb on each body segment behind head and some are poisonous. Class Pentastomida. They have five anterior appendages from which the name Pentastomida has been derived. It consists of a mouth and two pair of hooks which they use to attach to the host. Single member is Linguatula serrata or the tongue worm. It is worm-like present in the nasopharyngeal region of cats, dogs and other carnivores. The adult parasite is dorsoventrally flattened, tapering backwards, resembles a tongue. The cuticle is transversely striated and sometimes deeply ridged. The females are usually larger than the males. Class Insecta They have a distinct head, thorax and abdomen, one pair of antenna, three pair of legs and two pair of wings. Respiration is by means of trachea, compound eyes are present, sexes are separate. It includes several orders. Order Siphonoptera or the fleas. These are wingless insects having literally compressed body. The antenna are present in the groove on the head. Compound eyes are absent. Coxa of leg are very well developed. Second and third pair of legs are generally very strong. Developed to help in jumping and leaping. The ninth segment of the abdomen in both male and female bears a dorsal plate called as sensilium. There are large number of spines on the head and thorax in some fleas known as combs or tinidia. The ones present on the cheek are called as genal comb and the ones on the posterior border of the first thoracic segment are known as pronotal combs. The important fleas include Tinocephalitis phallus infest cat, dog and man. Genal and pronotal tinidia are present. The genal tinidia has eight spines and the first spine is as long as the second. Head with low sloping front about two times as long as high. Tinocephalitis canis infest dogs. The genal and the pronotal tinidia is present. The genal tinidia has eight spine, but the first spine is shorter than the second. Head with rounded front about one and a half times as long as high. Xenopsiella cheopis or the rat flea. Tinidia is absent. Meropleural rods are present and they generally occur on the rats. They are also the carrier of Yersinia pestis which causes bubonic plague in man. Culex irritans infest man, dog and cat. Tinidia is absent. Mesopleural rods are present. The fawns or the forehead is rounded anteriorly. Tunga penetrans man and other mammals. The thorax is reduced. The fronds are sharply angled. Echidnophaga gallinacea 
thorax is reduced, tinea is absent, two bristles are present on the occipital lobe and the fronds are angled anteriorly. Order Hemiptera or the bugs, Cymex lectularius, the bed bug, dark brown in color, dorsoventrally flattened, around 4 to 5 mm long. It has a distinct head, thorax and large abdomen. Prothorax is large and deeply notched anteriorly where the head is fitted. Long antenna with four joints, large compound eyes projecting conspicuously at the sides of head. Wings are vestigial and stink glands are present. Genus Triatoma, cone-nosed bug or the kissing bug. These are larger than cymex. They have well-developed wings and a cone-shaped head. Lice. Lice are permanent parasites spending all stages of their life cycle on the host. They are small, wingless, dorsoventrally flattened with distinct head, thorax and abdomen. They have three pair of legs attached to the thorax and end in claw. Mammalian lice has one claw whereas avian lice has two claws. Antenna is short consisting of three or five segments. Eyes are reduced or absent. It includes two orders, siphon culata or the sucking lice and mallophaga or the biting lice. Siphon culata, these are all mammalian lice. Head is conical and pointed anteriorly with terminal mouth parts. The mouth parts are adopted for sucking blood and other body fluids. Antenna is generally visible from the side of the head. All three thoracic segments are fused together. In order Mallophaga, it consists of both mammalian and avian lice. It has a head which is broad, flat and rounded anteriorly with ventral mouth parts. The mouth parts are adopted for biting and chewing. Antenna may or may not be visible. Prothorax is free. Meso and Meta is fused. The important sucking lice, genus Hematopinus, Hematopinus uristernus or the short nose cattle louse, Hematopinus tuberculatus or the sucking louse of buffalo. These are large in size, 4 to 5 mm long with broad thorax. Eyes are absent and head has a temporal angle behind the antenna. Marked paratergal plates are present and one row of a spine is there on each abdominal segment. Genus Linognathus, Linognathus vituli, long nose cattle louse. Eyes are absent. Abdomen is membranous with numerous hairs on each segment. First pair of legs is the smallest and paratergal plates are absent. Family Pediculidae, they have pigmented eyes, paratergal plates on the abdomen and the abdomen is highly chitinized. It includes the human head louse or pediculus humanus and the pubic or crab louse that is thyrus pubis. Important biting lies, Menopon galeni, the shaft louse of poultry. The males are smaller than the females and each thoracic and abdominal segment has one dorsal row of bristles. Menacanthus istraminius, the body louse of poultry. Males are smaller. Each abdominal segment has two dorsal row of bristles. The eggs have a characteristic filament on the anterior end of shell and also on the operculum. Lipurus caponis, wing louse of poultry. Head is roughly triangular and the abdominal segmentation is distinct. Columbi cola columbi, the pigeon lice, body is elongate, abdominal segments are not very distinct. Demelinia bovis, the biting louse of cattle, it has broad head and the abdominal segments have characteristic ladder-like thickening. Order Diptera, first the suborder Nematocera, family Culicidae, the mosquitoes. They have long leg and elongated abdomen. 
antenna are long and are plumose in males and pilose in females. Genus Anopheles. The adult rests with the abdomen directed away from the resting surface. That is the proboscis and the abdomen, they are in a straight line. The scutellum is evenly curved. Males have plumose antenna and the maxillary palps are as long as proboscis and are clubbed. The female Anopheles antenna is pylose. The maxillary palps are as long as proboscis. Genus Culex. The adult rests with abdomen pointing towards the resting surface. That is the proboscis and the abdomen are at an angle imparting a humped back appearance. The scutellum is trilobed. The males, they have plumose antenna and the palps are as long as proboscis but are not clubbed. The females, the antenna is pylose and the palps are very short. The larva, it has well-developed head, a distinct thorax and abdomen. Head bears eyes, antenna and ears. The thorax is unsegmented. The stigmata from which the trachea pass through the whole body are situated on the fused 8th and 9th abdominal segment. In anopheline larvae, siphon tube is absent and it rests parallel to the water surface and are surface feeders. There are palmate hairs on the dorsal surface of the abdomen. Whereas culicine larvae has a well-developed siphon tube the head hangs down from the water surface and it feeds below the water surface. No palmate hairs are present on the abdomen. The pupa are optectic, having rounded body which consists of head, thorax and an elongate abdomen. From dorsal aspect of the thorax and attached to the lateral stigmata arises a pair of tubes or respiratory trumpets through which it breathes. In anopheline mosquitoes, the breathing trumpets are short and broad in lateral view, whereas in culicine, the breathing trumpets are long and narrow in lateral view. Family Ceratopogonidae, the biting midges, genus Culicoides, they are delicate brown or blackish fly well-developed prothorax, slightly projected towards the head, giving it a slightly humped back appearance. It has long 14 segmented antenna, which is plumose in males and pylos in females. The proboscis is comparatively short and adopted for sucking blood. The mandibles, they act like scissors. Wings are oval in shape with hairs, but no scales. Family Simulidae, black flies or the buffalo gnats, Simulium indicum, commonly known as potu fly. These are small blackish or blackish grey flies, comparatively small legs and proboscis is present. Antenna is 10 to 11 segmented without any prominent hairs and it is same in both sexes. Prothorax much developed and projected towards the head giving it a prominent humped back appearance. Eyes are holoptic that is almost contiguous in males and dicoptic that is separated by a narrow space in females. Wings are oval in shape and without any hair, spot and with very few venations. Family Psychodidae, the sand flies like Phlebotomus argentipus, Phlebotomus papatasi. These are minute flies dull greyish in color, legs are comparatively long, abdomen is slender and comparatively long. All body along with legs and wings are covered with thick hairs. Antenna is 16 segmented, long, covered with hairs and is same in both sex. Wings with parallel venation and covered with hairs. Suborder Brachyshera. Family Tabanidae, G. 
genus Tabanus, the horse flies, breeze flies, or also known as the gad flies. These are large tabanids with strong body and wings. Eyes are large and holoptic in males and dicoptic in females. Antennae have two short basal segments and third segment is large having tooth like projection and is ringed with four annulations. Proboscis is relatively short. Longitudinal stripes are present on the abdomen and they hold their wings horizontally when at rest. The divergent wings are usually clear but sometimes may be uniformly dark in color. Genus Hematopota, they are smaller than Tabanus, they have a cylinder and narrow abdomen and have typical markings on it. The proboscis is short and hangs down. The first segment of the antenna is large, second is narrower and terminal one has three annulations. Overlapping wings usually are light grey in color and have a characteristic mottling. Genus Chrysops or the deer fly, they are smaller tabinids with typical markings, long cylinder antenna and green colored eyes. The abdomen is oval and has typical yellowish bands and dark color strips. Proboscis is longer than the tabernus and hematopota. The first and second segment of the antenna is long and third segment has four annulations. Wings have dark band passing from anterior to posterior border of the wing. Genus Pangonia. The proboscis is very long and projects forward. The third or the terminal segment of the antenna has six or seven annulations. Wings are held divergent at rest and are overlapping. The anterior portion of the female is comparatively narrow than the posterior half. Suborder Cyclorapha, family Muscidae, Musca domestica or the housefly. Males are smaller than the females and in the wings the R5 shell is nearly closed. The thorax is yellowish grey to dark grey and has four longitudinal dark stripes which are equally wide and extend to the posterior border of the scutum. Abdomen has yellowish ground color and has median black longitudinal stripes which become diffuse on the fourth segment. Mouth parts are adopted for imbibing liquid food. Larvae are pointed anteriorly and has broad posterior end and the posterior end bears a stigmal plate which is placed close to each other bearing three winding slits. Stomoxis calcitrans or the stable fly, it is as large as housefly. The proboscis is prominent, directed horizontally forward. In wings, the R5 shell is open, thorax is grey and has four longitudinal dark stripes of which the lateral pairs are narrow and do not reach the end of scutum. Abdomen is shorter, broader and has three dark spots on second and third segments. Larvae resembles musca, but the stigmal plates are far apart having three S-shaped slits. Hydrotia irritans or the sheep head fly, these are non-biting muskets resembling housefly. Thorax is black with grey patches, abdomen is generally olive green. The bases of the wings are orange yellow. Hematobia exigua or the buffalo fly, small blood sucking muskets around 4 mm long. Face is silvery grey, thorax is silvery grey medially and dark laterally with two well defined dark stripes. Palps are yellowish, stout, of uniform thickness and as long as proboscis. Family Califoridae, genus Lucilia, the green bottle fly or the copper bottle fly. They are of bright green metallic color with a sheen. Eyes are brownish red. The body is cylinder around a centimeter long. Genus Califora, 
or the blue bottle fly. These are large flies around 1.2 cm long and it buzzes loudly when it flies. Body has a metallic blue sheen and eyes are red. Genus Formia or the black blow flies. The thorax is black with metallic blue green sheen and the abdomen is blue green to black in color. Chrysomia baziana, the old worm screw worm fly. It is a medium sized stout bluish green fly. Have four black stripes on pre scutum and face is orange yellow. Genus Sarcophaga or the flesh flies. These are medium sized to large flies. Eyes are red in color. Thorax has three longitudinal dark stripes. Dorsum of abdomen has checkered board pattern of dark and gray. Family Gasterophilidae, genus Gasterophilus or the horse bot flies. These are quite large flies, about 18 mm in length. The abdomen is cylinder and long. Body is reddish brown in color and is covered with thick hair. A transverse irregular band passes from the anterior to posterior margin of the wings. Antenna is three segmented and it bears arista. Larvae is brownish yellow in color with rows of spines dorsally and ventrally and also have a ventral oral hooks. Family Isturidae, Istrus ovis, sheep nasal fly. The larva parasitizes the nasal cavity and adjoining sinuses of sheep. These are medium sized flies with large eyes, grayish brown in color and covered with light brown hairs. Thorax has number of dark spots. Mouth parts are vestigial, antenna bears arista and the larvae is white to slight yellow in color around 3 cm long. They have large black color oral hooks and dark transverse bands on the dorsal aspect of the segments. Genus Hypoderma, Warble fly or the Ox Warble. Medium sized flies around 13 mm in length. They are grays in color with hairs on the body. The color of the hairs is yellowish white on the head and interior part of thorax and it is bright yellow on the posterior part of thorax and abdomen. Mouth parts are vestigial, the antenna bears arista. Larvae is white in color around 25 to 28 millimeter long and it bears flat tubercles on all the segments. Genus Hippoboscidae. These are dark brown flies with yellowish spots and markings on the body. They have a comparatively rounded head and abdomen is soft and leather-like. Wings are overlapping at rest with venations towards the anterior margins only. They have strong piercing proboscis and the legs they have claws. Melophagus ovinus or the sheep cat. This is the parasite of sheep and it spends its whole life on the host. They are wingless, leathery parasites. The head is fixed on the thorax and is not movable. Strongly clawed legs are attached to the thorax. Thorax is brown and the abdomen is grayish in color. Proboscis projects anteriorly from the head. Pseudolinchia canariensis or the pigeon fly. They have transparent wings with venations on anterior margins only. They are dark brown in color. Legs are provided with strong claws. Class Arachnida. Wings, antenna and compound eyes along with the division of the body into head, thorax and abdomen is absent in all members of class Arachnida. The body is divided into anterior gnathosoma and posterior idiosoma. Mouth parts are small and sucking type and many of them possess poison glands and poison claws to paralyze their prey. 
Adults have four pair of legs. Respiration is by gill books, lung books, tracheal, or even through the cuticle. It includes the following important orders. Order is Scorpionidae. These are large terrestrial arachnids having terminal post anal sting containing the poison gland and is provided with a sharp spine like the scorpions. Order Aranidia. The chalicidae or the first pair of appendages have poison glands and hooks for killing their prey and the pedipalps or the second pair of appendages are relatively small. Example spiders. Order Acarina. The mouth part consists of a pair of chalicerae, a pair of pedipalps and a median toothed hypostome and are born on a plate called basis capitulae. The life cycle consists of egg, larvae which have three pair of legs, nymph and adult. Both nymphs and adults have four pair of legs and examples ticks and mites. Suborder Exodoidea. It has two families, Argacidae and Exodidae. Family Argacidae or the soft ticks. In this, the scutum is absent, the capitulum it lies ventrally, and the mouth parts are not visible from above. The spiracles is present between the third and fourth coxa. Nymphal stages are generally more than one. Argus persicus, the foul tick. Oval in shape, 4 to 10 mm long. It is narrow anteriorly. The ingos tick has a slaty blue color. Eyes are absent. And sexual dimorphism is not marked. And sexes can be distinguished only by the shape of the genital opening. Otobius maganini, the spinose ear tick of dog, sheep, goat, cattle. The nymphs are widest at the middle, the skin is mammillated and bears numerous spines like projections. Adults which are not parasitic, they have a constriction at the middle, giving the body a fiddle shape. Ornithodonus sevignae or the tampon. The mouth parts are present ventrally and subterminal, so they are not visible from the dorsal side. Family Exodidae or the hard ticks. Sexual dimorphism is marked as it possesses a hard chitinous shield or a scutum extending over the whole of the dorsal surface of male, but only a small portion behind the head in adult females and also in larva and nymphal stages. The mouth parts are interior and well visible from dorsal aspect. Adult has one pair of spiracles situated posterior laterally on the fourth coxa. Posterior border of the body may be notched forming festoons. Some ticks may have colored enamel-like areas on the body and are the ornate ticks. Genus Exodus, it is an inornate tick. Eyes and festoons are absent. The palps and hypostome are long, that is longirostrate. The anal group surrounds the anus anteriorly. Genus Hyloma, in ornate tick, sometimes ornate also. Eyes are present, festoons are present, palps and hypostome are long, again longirostrate. The spiracles are comma shaped in males and triangular in females. Males have three ventral plates, that is the adenal, accessory adenal, and the subventral plates. Genus Rifficephalus, usually inornate ticks. Eyes and festoons are present. 
palps and hypostome are short like baby doll straight the basis capitulae is hexagonal dorsally coxa 1 has two strong spur the spiracles are comma shaped and short in females and long in males subgenus bufilis inornate text eyes present festoons are absent palps and hypostome are short brevirostrate anal groove is absent in females and very faint in males and surrounds the anus posteriorly except exod is anal groove surrounds the anus posteriorly in all other genus of heart ticks coxa 1 is bifid spiracles circular or oval genus hemophysalis again an inornate tick eyes are absent festoons are present the palps are short and conical and the second article have lateral projections the trochanter of the first pair of leg bears a dorsal process spiracles in female is ovoid or comma shaped and it males are always ovoid ventral plates are absent in males genus derma center usually ornate eyes and festoons are present palps and hypostome are short coxa 1 is bifid and the fourth coxa of male are much larger than the coxa 1 to 3 ventral plates are absent in males genus amblyoma this is also an ornate tick eyes and festoons are present the palps and hypostome are long males without ventral plates mange mites family demodicity demodex canis or the follicular mite of dog this is generally present in the hair follicle and sebaceous glands they are elongate and cigar shaped around a quarter of a millimeter long body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen thorax bears four pairs of stumpy legs whereas the abdomen is elongated and transversely striated on the dorsal and ventral surface the mouth parts consist of paired palps and chelicerae and a single hypostome eggs are spindle shaped and are laid in the hair follicles family sarcoptidae the burrowing mites sarcoptes scabii the scabies mite of man sheep goat cattle these are small but the females are larger than the males body is roughly circular and the dorsal surface is covered with fine folds and grooves and also bears numerous small triangular spines or scales legs are short and grouped in two pair on either side of nymph and adult and they do not project beyond the margin of the body the tarsi of the first second and fourth pair of leg in males and first and second pair of legs in females and in bell shaped suckers or the carunculus the other legs and in bristles eggs are oval and are laid in tunnels burrowed by the females notoidris cati generally infest cat the body is globose and covered with scales or spines legs are short the pedicels are unsegmented as in sarcoptes anus is dorsal whereas in sarcoptes it is terminal genus nemidocoptes nemidocoptes gallini the deep blooming itch mite nemidocoptes mutans is scaly leg mite of poultry the body is globose dorsal surface are devoid of spines legs short and stumpy all legs of males possess suckers while none of females possess suckers family sauroptidae 
these are non burrowing mites sauroptis ovis the sheep is cab mite these are oval in shape and are much larger than sarcoptis the tarsi of the first second and third pair of legs in males and first second and fourth pair of legs in females and in bell shaped suckers dorsal surface is devoid of spines or scales but the cuticle shows very fine striations coryoptis bovis the foot mange or itchy leg mite infest cattle horse sheep and goat it resembles sauroptis except the tarsi of all legs of male and first second and fourth pair of legs in females and in bell shaped suckers To watch more educational videos on veterinary and animal sciences subscribe the channel and please touch the bell icon Guru Angad Dev Veterinary and Animal Sciences University Ludhiana on YouTube